Okay. Question 9. If I look at question 9, I am allowed to combine like terms. So, my 1 third x and my negative 2 thirds x. This is opposite sign, subtract 1 third. Keep the sign of negative. Gives me a negative 2 thirds x plus 1 fourth. So, this first one, when I do this, I get opposite signs with common denominators, a negative one-third x, thought I caught that, negative one-third x plus one-fourth. I can go connect these two right here. Next part, combine a one-third x and a plus two-thirds x. One-third x plus two-thirds x gives me three-thirds x, which is x. This is x plus one-fourth. I go look at this. I'm right here. And the last one. Now, here's what's weird. This gets solved. You could, since you're right here, you know that a plus three-fourths has to be the plus three-fourths. Go look at this. Negative one-third, positive two-thirds, opposite sign subtract. One-third, keep the sign of a plus, so it's a positive. I get three-fourths x plus one-third. Connect your line. Make double line here just so it's easy to see. So, you're combining like terms on here. Make sure you combine only x's with x's and study. Study that you have to have a common denominator, but most importantly, study if you have one positive sign, one negative sign. Subtract them. Keep the sign of the larger absolute value.